It's important for you to know how to mix your own colors to make your color palettes appear cohesive. It is also cheaper than buying a tube of paint for every color. So here's how to paint a color wheel from scratch. All you need to start are the three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. All other colors can be created mixing these in different ways. Note that mixing all three together will make a muddy brown. The secondary colors, purple, green, and orange, are created by mixing primary colors. Red and blue makes purple, blue and yellow makes green, and yellow and red makes orange. Tertiary colors are created by mixing a primary color with a secondary color. These are red orange, red purple, blue purple, blue green, yellow green, and yellow orange. And now we have our basic color wheel. So to recap, you start with primaries, mix those to create secondaries, then mix one of each to create tertiaries. Now let's go over some basic terms to help you better understand and talk about color theory. A hue is the name of a color, like red, blue, green, yellow, and orange. Saturation refers to the intensity or purity of a hue. High saturation means the color is really bright, and desaturation means the color looks washed out or grayed out. Value refers to the degree of lightness or darkness of a hue. This value scale shows you a full range of values. A shade is a hue produced by adding black. So here you have a variety of shades of red made by mixing the red with increasing amounts of black. A tint is a hue produced by adding white. So now you have a variety of red tints made by mixing the red with increasing amounts of white. A tone is a hue produced by adding gray. So now you have a variety of red tones made by mixing red with increasing amounts of gray. When artists talk about color temperatures, they mean either warm colors, which are reds, oranges, and yellows, or cool colors, which are purples, blues, and greens. Opposite temperatures create visual contrast and have different psychological effects. Generally, warm colors appear bright, cheerful, and happy, while cool colors appear dark, mysterious, and gloomy. This is not always the case, though. It really depends on how you present the colors. The color wheel is a great reference when you're choosing an appealing color scheme. Here are some of the most common types of color schemes. A monochromatic color scheme is made up of one hue plus either white, black, or gray. Here you have a variety of tints, tones, and shades of red. Complementary colors sit across from each other on the color wheel. The most common pairs are red and green, purple and yellow, and orange and blue. Putting these next to each other creates great contrast and visual interest but they can easily overpower each other, so it's important to use them carefully. An analogous color scheme is made up of two to four colors sitting next to each other on the color wheel. These are just a few examples of analogous color schemes. A triadic color scheme is made up of three colors that are evenly spaced around the color wheel. Again, these are just a few examples of triadic color schemes. A split complementary color scheme is made up of a base color and the two colors adjacent to its complementary color. A tetradic color scheme is made up of four colors arranged into two complementary pairs. And a square color scheme is made up of four complementary colors evenly spaced around the color wheel. Hi. So I know that I've loaded you with a ton of information and you are probably not gonna be able to retain it all right now and that's totally fine. I don't actually know all of these things by heart. Now that Mila has had something to drink, I did use references and I will list and link them in the description below for those of you who are interested. And feel free to reference this video as often as you need to when you're working on things. The more you use it, the more you'll remember, but for now you can reference this video as much as you need to. I'm really excited to have this video done and out of the way because now I can make more interesting videos that reference the information in this video like color mixing and color scheme choosing and that's really exciting because now I'll get to actually paint something for you guys Yay! I hope this video was helpful if you're confused about any of the things that I mentioned in the video please leave me a comment below and I will answer as soon as I can if you have any suggestions or anything please let me know <laughs> If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more tutorials and really awesome art things to come very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!